hi guys so welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new my name's julie and today i have a grocery haul i have really really been slacking with my videos i had said maybe a few months ago that i was really going to try to get back up to date with my videos really going to try to film regularly but i've had the worst technical issues you could possibly have and i just had surgery three weeks ago so just everything has been in my way of making videos. It's like pretty hilarious because I'm like, oh, I'll finally have some time to do videos and I'll be recuperating from surgery and I'll be able to edit some of the videos, but then everything just went bad with computers. But anyways, I will get started with my haul, but first of all, I just wanted to say this is a grocery haul from No Frills and No Frills just finally opened about 15 minutes from my house, so that's really good. Usually I'm stuck shopping at Walmart or Independent. I like Walmart, but Independent is just so, so overpriced. And I've always wanted to go to No Frills because you can use the PC Optimum points there and you can either redeem them or make them. And I love, love PC Optimum points. I usually shop a lot at Shoppers Drug Mart because you can earn them there. So it's really the best of both worlds. It's a cheap store, not like not extremely cheap, but good price store and you can earn points. So. Anyways, that's a lot of rambling. So it finally opened up about a month ago, right when I had my surgery. So I hadn't been able to go till now. So I was very happy with it. The staff were very, very nice. And they had some really good prices, especially on the roots and vegetables. So I'll get started with the haul right now. So starting up in the corner, I just have a bag of milk. There's four liters of milk in there. And we usually pick up one bag or so a week, sometimes more. I know I'll have to start buying whole milk soon for my son, but for now we're just buying 1%. Next I had to pick up some pasta. We usually have a big stockpile of pasta. It's something I always like to have on hand and I like to have just a bunch of different types. But today we actually went looking for spaghetti and we had none and I couldn't believe it. And I actually noticed I was out of a lot of different things in my stockpile just because I have been using a lot of the items, which is good because I don't want things to go to waste, but I hate, hate running out of things. So I bought some pasta because there was some good deals on that. So I got this one here, it's Fustili. I don't know if that's how you spell it. Just looks like miniature rotini, but I like this one too. Then I got three bags of spaghetti. Next time I'll probably pick up three more because I really do like to have a good supply of pasta. I should have just picked up more because these were only like 99 cents. And then one of the pastas that we use a lot for a lot of different recipes are the bow ties or however you say that for valley and we use these an awful lot in alfredo and just like pasta with meat sauce we just really like bow ties so i got four of those and i think these were a dollar fifty the unico brand but the no name brand did not have any bow ties so we got four of those then I'm also running low on all the pasta sauce, the Alfredo sauce too. So I got two of the four cheese Alfredo sauce. I always get the four cheese. It seems to be really good. So they didn't have any of the regular pasta sauce that we usually get on sale. So I just picked up two of these President's Choice ones that looked good. So a marinara and then a seven vegetable primavera. So they both look really good. We've actually had the primavera one before. Those were only like $2 each and they are nice and full of vegetables. So that is nice compared to just a plain tomato and basil then i got a package of english muffins this was only like a dollar so that's a really good deal for english muffins so i just picked up one of those i want to make some breakfast sandwiches this coming week so then i went down the organic aisle or like the healthy aisle and i saw these pc organics vegetable stoned wheat crackers and they look a lot like just saltine crackers and my son really really likes to have like just a regular premium plus saltine cracker whenever I eat them he tries to steal them from me so I'm just not a big fan of giving them to him just because they don't have the best ingredients but I thought we would try these out and see if I can trick him into thinking these are the same thing hopefully these work out then I picked up a loaf of cinnamon and raisin thomas bread and this is like my favorite cinnamon raisin bread I used to always buy this at independent but they seem to stop carrying it in my area so I was very happy to see this at no frills so excited to have that again and then i saw that they had these little pie pumpkins which usually in my stores they go by pound so i was happy to find that they were only a dollar 27 each so i ended up getting three of these 
just to use as decor and for some pictures with my son. So I thought those would be really cute. We want to take my son to pick like a pumpkin out of pumpkin patch. So these won't be like for him to carve or anything or for not for him to carve for us to carve. But I just thought they were too adorable and they're like the perfect little size for him to take a picture with. So the fruits and vegetables are what I really, really needed to go for. And they had some awesome deals. So I picked up quite a bit for us. Like we don't go through a lot of fruits and vegetables because me and my son are basically the only two that really eat it. And I have stomach issues and my son has a tiny little baby tummy. So we can't eat a lot. So I got a head of lettuce that was under a dollar. I got a cauliflower and that was good too. I think it was only like $3. And I thought it was funny, they had like all like the greens cut off and I've never seen that before. So I don't know if that's the thing that normal stores do. I guess usually when I buy it from Walmart or independent, they're wrapped in plastic, like a plastic film. And this one wasn't, it was just sitting out. So that's probably why maybe. Okay, and then I got two packs of strawberries. Those were like $3 each, which is a pretty good deal around here. I do like to get them for like $1.88. That's usually the lowest I see them. But $3 is a pretty good deal. Same with the blackberries. Blackberries are my favorite berries and I don't usually buy them just because of the price and how small the containers are. And I find they go bad really quick. Not as bad as raspberries. Raspberries go bad so quickly, but blackberries are my favorite. So I was very excited to pick those up and only $3 each. Then I got a pineapple. I think this was about $2, so another good deal. At Walmart, they're always $4, so I only pick them up when they go on sale for a dollar or two, so happy to get one of those. Then the peppers were the really good deal that I saw. So a four pack of peppers at like Walmart or Independent, it runs between like four and five dollars here. And these were $1.88 each, so very happy to get those. So I got two packs, and I'll use one in a recipe probably next week, and then I'll probably cut them up and freeze the other pack. Then I got another pack of these grape tomatoes. I like buying these little tomatoes. I find they stay fresher longer and I just like cutting like one in the, one or two up for my son. Instead of cutting up like a big tomato and it going bad really quickly because it's sitting out cut up, just cut up one or two of these and it's perfect. Then the broccoli was another really good deal. One bunch of broccoli was 88 cents so I got one of those. Got one bunch of green onions. I think it was like 79 cents. That's a pretty good deal too. Usually at Walmart, they're $1.50. And then I got a pack of small baby, small pack of baby carrots. That was a dollar. And then me and my son have both been eating a lot of apples. So I picked up two pink lady apples, which are my favorite, but they're a little more pricey. So I just got two. And then I got four of the Golden Delicious and... I really don't know what other apples are good to eat like on their own, not for cooking or anything. So I usually always buy what's on sale. Um, so these Golden Delicious were on sale, but Pink Lady is definitely my favorite to buy. If And then the last item I picked up was a big container of PC spinach dip. This is really good spinach dip. I bought some pumpernickel bread yesterday when I ran into Independent to get something for dinner. So... I didn't realize our spinach dip was just about out, so I had to pick up another one of those, and that was like $6. I also got a box of cat litter and two cases of water, but because of my surgery, I cannot carry them into the house, so right now they're just staying in the car until I can get somebody to carry those in the house because that kitty litter especially is like a 20-pound box, or it's like a 40-pound box, actually, so can't be carrying that in. Okay, so that's everything I picked up. I know it's not the biggest haul, but I do still have quite a bit of a stockpile. I made sure I stocked up before my surgery, but like I said, we did run out of a few things that I thought I had a big stockpile on, so I definitely need to be going through that and see what I have because it's just a mess. My storage room, literally stuff is falling off the shelves. It's such a disaster. Anyway, so thank you so much for watching my video, guys. Please like and subscribe and ring that notification bell if you'd like to be notified for future videos. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thank you. Bye.